The park bench was empty when I sat down beneath the shade of an old willow tree to do a little sketching. I was feeling fed up with life and for good reason. I felt the world was dragging me down. And if that wasn't enough, a young boy, all out of breath from play, approached me. I peered at him over the top of my glasses. He stood there right in front of me, his head tilted down, and said, Hey, look, mister, look what I found. In his hand he held a wilted rose. His petals were all shabby, a pitiful sight, uh, not enough sun or too much rain. I wanted the kid to take his dead flower and leave me alone. I faked a small smile and turned aside. But instead of leaving, he sat down right next to me, held the flower up for his nose, said, Mmm, it sure smells pretty. That's why I picked it just for you. Well, I realized I had to take the flower, otherwise he might never leave me alone. So I said, great, thanks kid, just what I always wanted. Then, without rhyme or reason, uh, he held the flower up in front of him. And it was then that I realized that this flower child couldn't see, that he was blind. A tear came to my eye and I heard a quiver in my voice as I thanked him for picking the very best one for me. Oh, you're welcome, he said, and ran off to play not realizing the impact he had on me at that very moment. I sat there and wondered how this blind child had managed to see a self-pitying old coot like me sitting beneath that shade tree. And what could he know of my aches and miseries? Well, perhaps in his life and in his heart, he'd been blessed with true sight. And through the eyes of a blind child, at last I could see the problem was not with the world, the problem was me. And for all those times that I had been blind, I vowed to see the beauty and appreciate every second that was left of me. I held that flower up to my nose, inhaled the fragrance and smiled as that young man, another flower in his hand, ran about to change the life of another unsuspecting old coot. I'd like to have this as a souvenir. Uh, when you look at it, please remember not only my story, but my magic too.